All right, so in the last section we set up Google Analytics. Uh, you also want to have Google Webmaster Tools set up. So with your Google account, you want to go to google.com slash webmaster slash tools, and this will be your interface uh, for Webmaster Tools. And you can see I have, I have a bunch of sites here already. Uh, what you want to do to add your site is just click on add a site enter the URL so in our case is going to be um, what is it going to be tech guy staging notice I have no www you do have to add well you should add both versions of the site so we're going to add this one first all right and now to verify that we own this domain there's a few different things we can do. We can uh, download an HTML file and then upload it to our site. And then there's also alternate methods, uh, domain name provider, HTML tag. We can uh, verify through analytics, which we'll try, we'll try next, and then tag manager. So let's do the recommended method. And whoops, you don't want to click verify yet. You need to download this file. So I'm going to download that to my desktop and then I'm going to upload it to my root domain. Where'd it go? Maybe I didn't download it to my desktop. Where did it go? All right, here it is. So I'm going to upload that using FTP. Okay, so now I'm going to, you can click here to confirm that the file's there. Let's do that. It's there. So now let's click verify. All right, so now techguystaging.com is now linked to this, uh, this Webmaster Tools account. We also want to add the www version or www version. So add a site. Now this is really easy because it's going to ask us for the same file that we just uploaded. So all we need to do is click verify and then it's verified. All right. So let's see. If we go to Webmaster Tools, our dashboard, we can see all the sites. Let's find Tech Guy Staging, which is right here. Now, you need to make a decision, if, if you haven't already, which version you want to use. If you want to use the www or just the Tech Guy Staging or whatever your domain. I am going to choose to use just the Tech Guy Staging and we've already set that up in WordPress but we want to set that up here as well so if we click on manage site uh, actually let's click on the, the link and I believe labs I'm trying to figure out where we do this let's see site settings yeah site settings so if you can see preferred domain the default is not to set a preferred domain uh, since we want the non www version I'm gonna click here in this crawl rate you just want to leave it at um, let Google optimize unless you really know what you're doing so I'm gonna save this and you can choose to target certain users at certain areas as well I'm not going to do that though. So we did it to the non WW version. Now let's go back and we want to click on right here. I'm going to do the same thing under site settings. Okay, so it automatically sets it on both then. All right, so you only have to worry about doing that once. Let's see. So 
what else can we do here? If we go to site dashboard, it's going to tell give us uh, it's going to tell us if we have any crawl errors. Uh, it's going to tell us the search queries, what's coming up uh, as far as our results and stuff. Site maps, you can submit a site map, which we will do. Uh, I guess we'll we'll do that in the next section. Um, search appearance, structured data. We don't have any structured data. There's not really much we can do here. All right, HTML improvements. It's not going to give us anything because we're not really red. We're not in the system yet. Uh, but it will. It can actually recommend uh, HTML improvements for us. In search traffic, of course, we can see all our queries. Links to your site. All right. So any any inbound links to your site will show up here. Not all of them, but the ones that Google does detect and and, and feels like putting up. Uh, internal links, which would be sites that you your site's linking to. Uh, Google Index, you can check and see if a page if it's if it's um, indexed or not. Content keywords, uh, remove URLs if you want to remove a URL from the Google Index, you can do that. Maybe it, it it maybe it indexed your admin link or something like that. You could remove it. Uh, crawl errors and, and statistics are available. Okay, fetches Google. Now my domain techguystaging.com. I have a robots text file that is uh, no follow or no index, so we're not going to find any of my pages in Google for this domain. But this is what you would do. Sitemaps, block URLs. Um, it'll check for security issues. And let's see, author stats. All right, so there's a lot you can do. I definitely suggest um, going through with a, with a fine tooth comb and seeing what you can do to better optimize your site as far as. Um, webmaster tools goes.